So the next thing we want to do is look at the macro editor display. And I'm going to hit macro macro to get in there. And uh, this area is going to allow us not only to edit our macros, but get to functions that aren't available from live. The first thing we can do is label our macros from the macro editor. So I can go ahead and say one label. And I'm going to call this one stop FX. Then I'm going to hit next and label. I'm going to call this desaturate. Next, label, record, next, focus palette, and next, label, RFR, enable. In this display, you're also able to edit your macros. So with a macro selected, you can hit your edit soft key, and you'll get a couple of things. First, your learn button will start flashing. Again, anything you do while you're editing a macro will be included in the record state. You also get a highlight on your various commands. So you can use your up, down, left, right arrows in this screen, and they will allow you to highlight a command and either insert things before it or after it and delete them. So I have an extra clear command line in this macro that I don't need. I can use my delete soft key to actually remove that. Also, there are certain functions in the desk that are toggle states. So for example, if I use this macro in its current state, RFR will either turn itself off or on, and it really depends on the state of the setting when I run the macro. So I can't be sure that it will always enable it. So what I want to do with a toggle state is get my cursor to be just after that, and I'm going to find in my soft keys the enable button right there. And now this will ensure that every time I use this macro, the RFR is going to turn itself on, even if it's in that state. So this is a lot more predictable than just a toggle state. When I'm finished editing a macro, I can either hit done in my soft keys or hit the learn button again. And if I have a macro that allows me to enable my remotes, I also want one that allows me to disable them. So I'm going to say four, copy to five, enter, I want to edit my macro. I'm going to highlight enable, delete it, and then I want to find disable. Put that in there and hit learn to stop learning it. If I hit label, I can backspace enable, put in disable, and now I have predictable macros that always set my toggle state to a known state.